Hello and welcome to A Week in Trucks, in association with Daft Trucks. This week, we remember, there's also a brand new flat pack truck and a new Mercedes-Benz pickup truck. You may remember the amazing Poppies installation, Blood Sweat Lands and Seas of Red by artist Paul Cummins and designer Tom Piper at the Tower of London in 2014. What you might not realise is that since then, the two very moving sculptures from the original installation, Wave and Weeping Window, have been touring the UK. We've got some amazing footage of the latest installation of Weeping Window at Carnarvon Castle in North Wales. The sculptures are made up of thousands of beautifully handmade ceramic poppies. They have already been seen in Liverpool, Lincoln, Yorkshire, Perth and Orkney in Scotland and Woodhorn in the northeast, and will continue their journey around the UK until 2018. The tour is being brought to a new audience by 1418 Now, the UK arts programme for the First World War centenary, with the support of transport sponsor Daft Trucks and art transport experts MTech Freight, who transported other world famous projects by artists including Ai Weiwei, Anthony Gormley and the Chapman Brothers. We'll be checking in on the poppies the next time they move location, when the weeping window goes to Hull and the wave arrives in Southend on sea to find out how this installation is removed, packed, moved and assembled again. Ex-Formula One and supercar designer Gordon Murray has launched the world's first flat pack truck, a low cost all terrain transport solution designed to bring mobility to parts of Africa and the developing world. It's called the Ox and has been designed to offer superb all terrain ability but with an adaptable load carrying capacity. It's shorter than a large SUV and has an unusual central driving position, just like the McLaren F1, but can carry a payload of 1900 kilos, which is nearly double what most pickup trucks can move only with a load volume of seven cubic meters instead. That means it can officially seat up to 13 people, carry eight 44 gallon drums or three Euro pallets. It shouldn't cost much either, with a price of between 10 to 15 grand for aid agencies or village communities. For now, the project is still looking for some heavyweight support to bring it into production. But with the company Gordon Murray Design having just been nominated for a National Innovation Award and being named the winner of the prestigious Royal Automobile Club's Dewa Trophy for outstanding British technical achievement, the Ox may yet become a reality in some far-flung corner of the globe. A few months ago, we showed you sketches of a brand new Mercedes-Benz pickup truck. Well, now they've revealed the concept vehicles, and we've got to say they look pretty good. The new model will be called the Mercedes-Benz X-Class. Two concept vehicles were revealed to highlight the premium and lifestyle markets that the new model is intended to capture. The one in white is the Stylish Explorer, a high-end interpretation of their future truck stuffed full of all the technologies and equipment Mercedes customers would expect of their high-end cars. The second vehicle, in yellow, is called the Powerful Adventurer. This one demonstrates the brand's desire for a truck to be seen as a rugged off-roader, with its extreme off-road tyres and winch system. The X-Class is based on the Nissan MP300 Navara, and as far as we know, the production model will not be radically different in looks to these concepts. Expected to go into production at the end of 2017. And finally, don't forget we still have a fantastic competition prize for you to win. By sending us a simple video, you can win Class 2 and Class 1 HGV tuition from our friends at EP Training. All you've got to do is watch an episode of A Week in Trucks that we've linked to in the comments section below to find out how to enter. You've been watching A Week in Trucks in association with Daft Trucks. Thanks for watching.